One yeah. final question, why do you think that they have to apply to Red State? So, if you're looking for a suburban place where you get to be yourself and become independent and go about exploring places, then I think Red State is one place which you have to start with. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Sumesh. Hi, Sumesh. So, which course are you doing in Wright State? I'm doing Master's in Marketing Analytics and Insights. Oh, okay. So, uh, what skills have you learned so far from this course? Ah, oh, that's a pretty interesting question. I learned many things from this course. So, when it comes to the technical side, I learned Tableau, Power BI a bit, Python. In fact, my capstone is on Python. So, what are the career opportunities you're looking from this course particularly? So, this course has uh, many opportunities. Uh, so, we'll be in the front end of all the companies. Yeah. So, we'll be a marketing analyst, market researcher, Tableau developer, market research analyst. So, we'll be totally into the marketing side and also with a part of technical tools like Tableau, Power BI, all the technical business intelligent tools. And so, our role would be creating insights from data. So we'll be the front end and I mean, showcase the in, uh, insights through a story okay. and which help many companies or services or many things through this. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Uh, may I know your name? What's your name? My name is Chloe. Chloe, and what are you studying here at Wright State? I'm studying elementary education. Cool, wow. So what do you want to do with the degree? Um, I'd like to become an elementary teacher, um, so my license will be kindergarten through fifth, um, but I'd like to stay in kindergarten through second. And then once I graduate, I plan on going to graduate school as well to become That's an intervention cool. So what is that one thing that you want to say about the international students that are choosing to come to the right state? Um, I think Wright State is an awesome school um, with a lot of exposure and awesome professors. Cool. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank have a great day. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, may I know your name and the course you're studying at Wright State? Yeah, so I'm Bhavna and I'm doing my marketing analytics uh, tools and insights course in Wright State. Yeah. What courses have you taken so far? Uh, so I've taken uh, digital marketing, marketing strategies and uh, big data analytics for this uh, fall semester. Yeah, that's cool. And um, what's the difference that you found between the American education and the Indian education? I think the, the, I mean, the biggest difference I have seen is here we do real-time projects. Like uh, if you take my digital marketing class, uh, we are doing an eight weeks campaign uh, where we are given $1,000 budget. So I think that's one thing we don't see in India. And what do you think the skills that you've gained after working on group projects and collaborative works? I think uh, <clears throat> uh, team building and you know how you uh, communication between the teams, that is one of the things I learned. What do you think about the professors? Yeah, I think professors are very well uh, uh, experienced here. So yeah, they teach uh, very nicely and they're always available for you to answer your questions through email or you know, they're always available in the office. Uh, yeah, so I really liked it. Nice. So what's that one thing that you want to tell to the upcoming marketing analytics and inside students? Uh, so once you come here, please start looking for what kind of courses you're going to take for the next two to three semesters because that will affect uh, your studies and your grades. So how is your life in USA so far? It's very nice. I have found uh, really good friends and uh, really uh, having a great time here. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? My name is Frank Boabing. I'm from Ghana. And what course did you choose at Wright State? Um, study market analytics and insights. Cool. So, uh, Frank, can you tell me how do you find being an international student here at Wright State? For me, it's I've been here for like four years, and so being an international student, I have been able to like connect with other students. And um, Wright State, in terms of um, international student, it's quite diverse. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's talk about your coursework. How did you find the marketing analytics coursework and what skills have you gained so far? In terms of skills, um, so far I feel like the classes I've taken have been really beneficial. Um, I'm hoping to use them more like very soon. Mm -hmm. um, the digital marketing class was one that was particularly helpful. Like mm -hmm. I feel like 
I was doing something new, something new for me coming uh-huh. from the arts background. So uh-huh. that was really a good class for me. And nice. So uh, did you get to apply to any internships? So I am, I am in the process of applying and looking for internships. I've spoken to Dr. Goodrich and reached out to people, um, other students that have graduated and they have been helpful. So hopefully I can land one of those internships and start something yeah, from cool. there. So one final question. What is that thing that you want to tell to the international students that are willing to come to Wright State? I think Wright State is a good place for international students. Um, it's relatively cheaper. The programs are really good here and Dayton, Ohio is friendly. So just come mm-hmm. and <laughs> I cannot wait to meet all of you. Okay. Hi, brother. Hi. So tell me your name. What's your name? I'm Sanjay. And where are you from? I'm from Hyderabad, India. So tell me, why did you choose Wright State University? The first thing is that uh, I felt uh, this place is something which makes me feel connected. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other thing why I've chosen Wright State is that it has got really good ranking in terms of uh, CS. Uh-huh. And my, I'm doing my master's in CS. Uh-huh. And uh, it offers a really good uh, fees as well. Like mm-hmm. you, I got a yeah affordability. like. I Did got you get any scholarships? Yes, Did I got a uh, $10,000 scholarship for the complete master's course. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. So tell me your name. I'm Pradiksha. Pradiksha, what are you studying here at Wright State? I'm an applied mathematics graduate. I came in for the fall intake 2022. Cool. So how do you feel about the course so far and the university? I think so far it's been good. It's been a hectic ride but then yeah, still, the professors, I think they're very helpful, uh-huh. extremely helpful. And how is your on-campus life? On-campus life? Did okay. you make a lot of local friends? Yes, yes, fortunately, yes, because given my degree, it's applied mathematics, I have American students, I'm an American classmate, so I'm the on- only Indian student, to be honest, but yeah, very friendly people. And did you get any scholarships here? Oh yeah, I did receive a scholarship. I think it's a 10k sum for the entire course. Okay. So what's your name and what are you studying here? Uh, my name is Prithvi Siraj. I'm studying Masters in Cyber Security. Okay. So my name is Pravalika and I'm studying in Masters in Cyber Security. So how do you guys feel about Wright State University? Uh, it was great. Uh-huh. Um, the environment or the culture over here is very involving, you know, coming from an uh, international country which is out of the US and mingling to the society and the people is very much a good part. Cool. So why did you choose Wright State? Uh, actually, my stream is cyber security and I feel like Wright State is more affordable in cyber security stream when compared to the other universities and has provided us the scholarship of 2500 for per semester. What is that one thing that you want to tell to international students that are willing to come to Wright State University? Uh, get some pretty good jackets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it will be very cool. And you know, just come out, just be open-minded so you can experience a lot of things over here. And you? Uh, mostly in other places we can find many uh, Indians and all, but here it's like both balancing both Americans and yeah. Indians and other countries so you can ex- get exposed to the other country people. Oh, you enjoying your life here? Definitely Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right.